What's up, runners? Coach Liz here from the Run Experience, bringing you a glute strengthening and activating workout. All right, follow along with me. All you need is a little bit of equipment right here. I'm gonna move back so you can see. I've got a little yellow medium band uh, for uh, activations, and then I have a simple pool noodle style, old school foam roller. Super easy, uh, super fun to have in your tool chest. All right, so here we are. First things first, let's go. We're gonna do five anterior planks. All right, set up very specific, squeezing your glutes, pulling that pelvis, flex those feet, squeeze the butt, and you're going to push up. We're holding for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Relax everything, bring it all back. Flex, squeeze the butt, pull the pelvis, pushing up. Five, four, three, two, one, and let it go. All right, again, pressing that low back into the ground, squeezing the butt, flexing the feet, pushing up to the sky, hips forward. Five, four, three, two, one, that's three, letting it down nice and easy. Shake out those feet, flexing the feet again, extending those legs nice and strong, activating those quads, squeeze the butt, pull that pelvis, pushing up to the sky. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Let that go, we've got one more to go, okay? Shake it off, flex those feet, squeeze the butt, curl that pelvis in, all right? Make sure this is on, pressing towards the sky for five, four, three, two, and one. Let that go. All right, keeping the band on. Place that up over here. We're going for <laughs> glute bridges, all right? Good old fashioned glute bridges, but we're going to make them slow and controlled, okay? Feet flat on the floor for now, making sure we got this band on right. Now, you're going to press that low back into the ground. That activates that pelvis, pulls it in. All right, you're going to start to squeeze the butt, flex the toes, and up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's one. Up. And five, four, three, two, one. This is what's called a tempo. Hold at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. And up, five, four, three, two, one. That's four, we're going for 10 here. Squeeze, make sure that's squeezing, pushing up towards the sky in five, four, three, two, one. Squeezing, setting up, pressing up, four, three, two, one. And push, five, four, three, two, one, slow and controlled on that eccentric movement. Pushing up, five, four, three, two, one. And pushing up, make it harder, hands up ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. One more, squeezing, really push those hips to the sky, squeezing that butt. Do not feel it's in the low back. And four, three, two, one. All right, take a moment. We're gonna shake that out. Now we're doing two sets of this superset, okay? So right back at it. Now that you're nice and warmed up in those glutes, back into that position that set up flat feet, squeezing the butt just a little bit, pressing that low back into the ground, turning that pelvis in, all right? We're going to press up, single leg, hold, and five, four, three, two, one, all right, pushing up, hold, five, four, three, two, one, that's two, pressing up, squeeze those glutes at the top, really strong, pause, two, one, all right, squeezing, pressing, press up, five, four, three, two, one, and up, Hold it up, five, four, three, two, one. I think we got one more. Squeezing those glutes, pressing the low back to the ground, pressing up, thinking and keeping this all into control. 
when we go single leg, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and slow. So what we're doing there is making sure that our pelvis is still balanced. All right, switching sides now, squeezing the, the butt. All right, pressing the low back into the ground, pushing up towards the sky. Bring that one leg down, we're going five, four, three, two, one. That's one. Pressing up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's two. Pressing up. That's five, four, three, two, one. Nice and slow. Pressing up. Holding that pelvis nice and woo. I think we got one more here. Pressing the low back to the ground. Hey, if we did an extra rep on each side, whatever, it's fine. All right, short rest period, okay. Short rest period, literally 30 seconds long. We're gonna run right through that again, okay? So getting that plank set up again, we're doing the anterior plank, placing your calves right on there, keeping the band around you. We got 15 seconds. Making sure we're catching our breath. As you can tell, Coach Liz, I'm a little, I'm a little out of breath. This workout is something I actually put together um, between my physical therapist and things that I've put together over the over time uh, to kind of, uh, and found from other coaches as well, um, so that I could get my glutes activated and working after an injury this year. Let's get after it, okay? Now, right into it. Flex those feet, squeeze the butt, curling that pelvis in, and here we go. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly let it down. All right, shake it off. Flex the feet, squeeze the butt, curling the pelvis, and up. Four, three, two, one. That's two. All right. Now, you should not be feeling this in your low back. If you feel it in your low back, I only want you to come up about a quarter of the way, 25% of the way. So squeeze the butt, curling that pelvis, pushing up. You really want to be using those glutes. Three, two, one, to be doing this movement. Shake it out. Got a couple more. Flexing those feet, squeezing the butt, pushing up towards the sky. And five, four, three, two, one. That's four, shake it off, here we go. Make it harder, squeeze the butt. Cross the hands over, pushing up towards the sky. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that off, all right? Go right back into our bridge. Standard glute bridge. I'm gonna have to share the mat with my cat, my little kit. All right, so setting up, pressing that low back into the ground. You're gonna get sick of hearing me say that. We're pressing the low back into the ground, okay? Pulling that pelvis, tucking it, as to, so to speak. And here we go. We're gonna make sure everything's turned on before we push up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. That's one. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. That's two. Squeeze the butt, pressing up. That's five. Four, three, two, one. That's three. Squeezing the butt, curling pelvis. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to make sure I'm saying it right. Squeeze the buns, tilt the pelvis, and pressing up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's five. We got five more to go. I know we're burning here. Squeeze the butt, tilt, tuck that pelvis, pushing up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, reset. If you're feeling like you're limited in this range, try out the couch stretch. And pressing up, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and easy, that's six. Squeeze the butt, tilt the pelvis, bring it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Keeping everything turned on, shake it out, squeeze the butt. Tilt that pelvis in, pressing up. Four, three, two, one. All right, again, pressing up. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake that out. 
tilt that pelvis, pressing up in five, four, three, two, one. All right, a couple more to go. And five, four, three, two, one. One more, squeezing the butt. Pull those heels, those feet towards your shins. Heels on the ground, pressing through the heels. A really strong pause at the top in five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, shake that out a little bit. If you're me, if you're like me, your buns are burning right now, which is fantastic. Here we go. We're gonna do this five per side. Starting on the left side, we're going to do our single leg glute bridge, but we're going to pack it. Start, start off with two legs, just like we did last time. Here we go. Now, tuck that pelvis in, squeeze the butt to get set up, pressing towards the sky, lift that right leg, four, three, two, one. That's one. Going right into it. Four, three, two, one. That's two, five, four, three, two, one. Keeping that nice, strong, connected and squared pelvis. And I think we got one more. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go for one more. Squeezing, lifting in five, four, three, two, one. Nice and controlled. Shake it out, all right? Tuck that pelvis, all right? Pressing through the heels, pressing up. Lift the left leg now in five, four, three, two, one. That's one. <laughs> Oh, look what I did there. You can do it this way if you want. Four, three, two, one. Understand that will make it a little bit harder. Just keep those pelvis bones level. All right. And five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, pressing high, keeping this butt tight. Four, three, two, one. That strong pause at the top. Hold it, hold it, four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right, right now, we have got a one minute rest before we move into the next portion of this. So we are going through, we're going to do the heel, prone heel presses. So as we're waiting through this one minute, I'm gonna show you. So you're going to place this foam roller, pillow, whatever you've got going. You're going to place your pelvis, okay? I'm gonna take off the band, actually. All right, spread your legs just enough, okay? And then you're going to flex the feet, touch the heels, okay? Even better, you get extra points if you do this barefoot. You're going to squeeze your heels together, pull in that belly button, and squeeze the butt. And we're gonna hold that for five seconds, okay? Then we're going to do stand up and we're going to do some uh, runner stance where we're going to uh, hit our glutes diagonally and out the back. And ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Press those heels together. Five, four, three, two, one. That's one, reset. Tuck that pelvis, squeeze the butt. Two, three, four, five. That's two. All right, we're going for 12 of these. Hold, two, three, four, five, and release. Again, reset up if you have to. This, I feel like the more I open up here, the better I get. Two, three, four, five. That's four. Squeezing, two, three, four, five, nice job. Squeeze, two, three, four, five. We're already at five here. Do it again, two, three, four, five. Making sure that you're squeezing evenly. Two, three, four, five on both sides, okay? Whew. Breathing, flexing, pulling them in. Nice work. We're doing these isometric holds. These are great for really explaining to your glutes 
where to work, where you need them. And just working on power and uh, strength and control. All right. Got a three more left here. Two, three, four, five. If you need to shake that out a little bit. I know my shins are really feeling it. Okay, pressing the heels. Two, three, four, five. Nice work. One more. Two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to stand up and see here. I'm gonna place this over here. Take the band off. What we're going to be focusing on is a more single leg balance here. All right, so working on a little bit of ankle proprioception and uh, we're also working on making sure the pelvis stays stable while you're extending out the back and diagonally, okay? So we're going to squeeze the butt, hinge at the hips, okay? Take that right leg out now that you're nice and stable, hinging at the hips just like a deadlift, squeezing the butt, okay? Keeping nice and balanced. You're going to very small movements, keeping that, that pelvis tilted, okay? That's three and going out the back. So all this movement, you should feel in your glute first, maybe a little bit in your hamstring after. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then out towards your diagonal. So out, not totally to the side, but out and back. Four, staying balanced. Six, seven, keeping this in, eight, Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Shake that out. If you're like me, you're probably burning. And we're gonna do this from this angle now. Right side, okay? So getting that nice, strong, tall, connected movement, hinging at the hips. Shift that weed over the right side now, big toes on, keeping that pelvis nice and tilted. Core is on, going out back. One, two, little movements four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, out towards diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, little movements, keep it eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. We're going to reset. And we got 30 seconds on the clock for that reset, okay? So just shake it out, whatever you need, moving it around, okay? We wanna get ready for that prone heel press once again, all right? So set up, place those hips right on that foam roller, back a little bit. Legs are out just a little bit, flex the feet, Touch the heels and here we go. We're squeezing for five, four, three, two, one. Remember squeezing the glutes, pressing those heels together. Four, three, two, one. That's two. Squeeze the butt, pressing in as you can see. Four, five. All right, shake it off. Pressing the heels, two, three, four, five, there might be some chonky heels going on here like mine. If so, like I said, add a bonus if you do this barefoot. Two, three, four, five, really pressing those hips forward, squeeze the butt. Two, three, four, five, keeping that belly strong, pulling that breath. Pressing, two, three, four, five, Nice work. Squeezing, two, three, four, five. Relaxing and squeezing, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Almost done here, pressing those heels. Really pushing, two, three, four, five. I am burning, I don't know about you, but I am burning. Here we go, two more, two, three, four, five, nice work. And last one, two, three, four,
five. Nice. All right. Getting up. Place this guy over here. We'll still be needing it later. Standing up. Uh, starting on that left foot. All right. Squeeze the butt. Strong, tall, connected. Hinge at the hips. Shifting the weight over. Balancing. Keep that pelvis tucked. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Balance. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Going diagonal now. One, that glute mead. Two, three, four, five, six. You should feel it right here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keeping that belly pulled in nice and tall. The reason we do that isn't just to look good on a magazine or in a YouTube video, but truly so that you can stabilize the spine, stay strong, tall, connected, connect the movement throughout the entire body, if you know what I mean. All right, once again, strong, tall, connected, slight hinge, like, hey, we're going for a run. Nice, strong leg out the back, tilt that pelvis, small movements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, we're switching. Now you might see one, two, three, me. <laughs> Touch my butt every once in a while. That's because I'm trying to get the brain body connection. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh man, all right. Shake that off. We've got a one minute rest before we finish this thing, all right? So get into a squat if you can. All right, get some movement while we wait for this minute. All right, as you can see, I'm in a squat and I'm up on my toes, but that's because that's as deep as I can get here. All right, I'm missing a little ankle range of motion and quite honestly, my adductors are tight and hamstrings, so it's kind of hard for me to get in that, that position, but we're doing a one minute recovery here before we move into two sets 10 per side, single leg wall squats, which I will show you at the setup. And then we are finishing off with our single leg uh, glute bridge hold on each side. All right, so that will be our burner. We got five seconds left. So you're gonna place, place the foam roller on your back, about just under the T-spine there, just where the rib cage is. All right, you're going to put that on the wall all right, and here we go. All set up. So nice, strong leg, quads on. All right, put that other leg wherever you want. It could be here, it could be there. Let's go, we're going for 10. That's one, we're not going totally deep. These could be quarter squats, two, three. All that work we just did, four. Should really be feeling it now and should be helping with this movement. That's kind of why I put this at the end. This is really now the challenge, right? Seven, I believe, pulling that belly in. Eight, nine, keeping that knee. 10, switch sides, okay? Probably hear this a lot on the run experience, but you're doing these squats, keeping that knee. Knee stays behind the toes, all right? Typically, especially in a quarter squat. We're really just trying to isolate the glutes here. A Little bit of quad action. I think that's three. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight, a shift. Nine. <laughs> and that's 10. Nice work. Onto our single leg glute bridge hold. No band necessary for this one. All right. <clears throat> Set up just like we did before. Feet flat on the ground to start. Tilt that pelvis in. Low back is pressed into the ground. <laughs> All right, now flexing those feet. Pressing up towards the sky. Hands on the ground if you need, keeping the pelvis 
All right, we're gonna go for a 30 second hold. Pelvis stays nice and even. Hey, if you're a rock star, try this. If you're just getting started, keep at it like this. Put this leg wherever you want it. You're doing great. Got 12 seconds left. Keeping that pelvis. Now you notice that I am not pressed towards the sky 100%. I'm just past a quarter. That's good. And let it down. Reset. All right, press that low back into the ground, tilting the pelvis. Turn those glutes in. On. So <laughs> we're doing here, right? All right. Flexing those feet, pressing those hips to the sky. Single leg. And here we go. We're holding for 30 seconds. This actually is my problem side. So really keeping that glute turned on the whole time. You're really focusing on using that glute to push those hips towards the sky. And then we're also thinking about the core here because we want to keep the pelvis. So we're not like this. Get that pelvis up too. And we got five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right. Gonna shake that off a little bit. We've got a 30 second break before we move into this final set and we're done. All right. And let's go. Shake it off. Getting set up here. All right. Pressing, pushing that foam roller into the back. Set up onto the wall. Getting that foot kind of aligned with the center of the body. And let's go. That's one, belly is on. That's two. That's three, knee does not go inwards. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, switching sides. All right, get that set up, and here we go. That's one, two, really using that glute, pushing through the heel, four, five, six, whoa, <laughs> seven, doing great, that's eight, Nine and 10 right away. Getting down on the ground, finish this thing. All right, feet flat to start. Press that low back into the ground, squeeze the glutes, pressing up towards the sky and lift off. 30 second hold, pulling those towards in through the shin so that you are focusing and isolating that glute there. Press through the heel. Got 18 seconds here. So you can hear, I'm breathing. We're no longer at conversational pace. We are finishing this thing. Rockstar, kinda, sorta, maybe not. That's all right. Switching sides. All right. Pressing that low back to the ground. Squeezing the butt. Pressing up, pulling that shin. And here we go. All right, keeping that pelvis nice and balanced. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're shaking, that's okay. Make sure that it's this, that is the primary muscle. All right, if it's not, come back a little bit. All right, otherwise really focusing. We got like five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, there she wrote. That's all she wrote. I'm out of breath. I hope you had a good time today. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure you hit up some of our mobility sessions for afterwards. And I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell. 
Berm, we love you. Bye.